reminder tonight of just how dangerous high surf can really be. The two military men who drowned near Halona Bloho have been identified, and one of their families is talking tonight. KITV4's Kenny Choi shows us these heartbroken parents say their son's final act was a selfless one. Till the end, Caleb Collins was there for his friends and brothers in arms. He was an excellent soldier. Um, everybody loved him. His family says the 22 year old was the one who jumped in to rescue fellow soldier Cheyenne Andrews, who got swept off the rocks near Halona Blowhole Saturday afternoon. We know that he died trying to help his friend. And uh, he was that kind of person. He was a very loyal young man. He tried to do something that he thought that was right, um, and unfortunately it cost him his life, but nevertheless, uh, he did what he thought was right. The family prayed for a miracle after hearing about the missing bodies Saturday. But by Sunday morning, they received the heartbreaking confirmation no family would ever want to hear that their child was dead. We've heard so, from so many young men who've come and they've actually just cried in my arms about how much they're going to miss Caleb. Well, we're obviously devastated by the news of our son. My son is coming home in a casket. <laughs> Kenny Choi, KITV4 News.